In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your footage from this into this. Let's get straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is skim through our footage and find what's actually usable. So I'll click Alt Bracket here and that'll cut our first side. We'll scroll through, find where it ends somewhere around here. We'll click Alt and then the other bracket. Okay, so we have all the usable footage that we want. Next, we're gonna pre-compose it. So you'll right click your clip, go to pre-compose, click on that. We'll select move all attributes into the new composition and make sure that adjust composition duration is selected. Press okay. Now we have our new comp. We'll drag it to the front, open up our pre-composition that we just made. So next thing we'll do is we'll go to our tracker panel. And as you can see, it's not here. So what we'll do is go up to window go down to tracker and select it. Now that our tracker panel is open, we will click stabilize motion, which will open up our tracking point. Usually we're gonna put it on a contrasted point, but here I'm gonna put it on something that stands out from everything else. As you can see, everything around it is darker. And so the silver RT badge stands out more. I'm gonna make this inner square small and then this outer square a little bit bigger. And then we'll play it forward. So once it's done tracking, we can go in and check and make sure everything's as good as it can be, which this looks fine. Next, we're going to select apply, push OK. And now is where we're going to mess with the scale position and rotation if we need to. By pressing P, Shift and S. And we're going to click the little time watch to make a keyframe. And in the beginning, I always bump this up to 110 on the scale just to be safe and then the end I usually do 120 to 130 just depends on what the footage shows we will mess with the rotation a little bit to keep the clip straight we are going to pre-compose it again same thing as last time move all attributes into new composition adjust composition duration okay we will apply warp stabilizer in the tracker panel and usually I change this anywhere between 1 and 20%. It just depends on how much smoothness you want. If you do 1, it's going to be very minimal. If you do 20, it's going to be a lot. You could potentially get some distortion in your warp. So you could just test it out. I found that 10% to like 1% is my usual. I usually do 1% just to be safe. Now that that's done, we're going to check our footage and see if it's stable or not. Looks pretty good to me. So next thing we'll do is we'll color grade it and then we're done. So now our footage is color graded and this is what it looks like. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments below of anything that you think I should do different or any advice you have for me, uh, or any other videos that you'd like to see in the future. I'm gonna be pushing out more tutorials, vlogs, stuff like that once the car show season starts going. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys, peace.